How's it going? Odell Outdoors. Have a little bit of a head cold going on right now. I was out at a football game in the rain a couple nights ago, so bear with me. But I wanted to show you the hatchet that I used because there's been a few people asking me about it um, since I showed some pictures and videos of it. So I'll show you this one and then I'm going to show you the big brother here in a minute. This is a Schrade Skax 2. It's S-C-A-X-E-2. Um, some dimensions on this little guy. 11 and 3 quarter inches long. The head is 5 and a quarter inches long. And the blade width is 3 and we'll call it 5 eighths inches wide. Very nice, uh, comfortable hatchet. I take this thing out hunting and mushroom hunting anytime I go in the woods. I've got a little shoulder pack and I mean it just fits right down in that shoulder pack nice. Both of these come with a built-in ferrule rod in the handle and it does throw some sparks. I don't know if you'll see it on camera but throws nice sparks. It's kind of awkward to use with the axe, but I have started fires with it just to see if I could. Uh, plastic handle with a rubber grip, rubber over, overlay grip. Now when they first came out with these, they had a problem where they didn't have the formula quite right in the handle for cold weather. And Chris from Prepared Minds 101 accidentally stumbled onto the problem. He had left the package. He had gotten one in the mail and he had left it on his porch overnight in the winter. And the next day he went to uh, use it and it busted on him in the first couple couple whacks. I believe that was the larger one. Now the, the company Schrade reformulated the handle material and structure they reinforced it for colder temperatures and they sent him another one. He put it in his freezer overnight to simulate the same conditions and it worked fine. I have personally used this thing winter time. You look at one of my YouTube videos for making a survival rocket stove and it's downpour snow coming down. So. They, they, they stood behind it, they fixed their product, but I would suggest buying a new one because you don't know if there's some of the older versions out there. Just throwing that out there. Um, the larger one, let's talk about that for a minute. The case is a Cordura, Cordura material with a belt loop. A little bit awkward putting it back in there, you gotta kinda finesse it back in there, but it's a nice case. The dimensions on this one. Uh, about 15 and 5 eighths. And 5 and 3 quarter. And then the blade width is 4 and a quarter. Again, comes with the built-in ferro rod. Larger big brother to the to the hatchet so this is the axe version both of them have a pommel on them for busting open uh, nuts out in the field or maybe breaking some rocks in half whatever driving in some nails driving tent stakes I've used it for driving tent stakes uh, I've used it for busting open hickory nuts to make hickory nut milk at a wild edibles I was at wild edibles course now the large one <clears throat> the large axe version comes with a puck, got a coarse side and a finer side. It works well. I mean, if you get a little nick in the blade, I've hit a stone and gotten a nick, and it works well. Not the greatest thing in the world, but it does definitely do the job and get you back on the road. Uh, as far as fine motor skills go, I mean, if you wanted to do a feather stick, you can get some fairly fine cuts going on with this as long as you sharpen it up. It comes sharp, but I, I like mine a little sharper. So you can do a 
you get yourself a feather stick going on. Uh, I use it for food prep, clean it up. And I've made beef stew out here, cut up the potatoes, onions, and carrots. I mean, look at that. That's sharp. That's nice. So, give you an idea of, you know, the use, versatility of them. You can sit there and cut firewood, and then once you get your fire made, make you some fried apples over the fire. So, I think I covered everything pretty well. I don't know what the prices are right now. I've had these for several years. I suppose you can look that up. Um, in the description, I'll put put what uh, the name of them so you can look them up easy. If you have any questions, just ask because that's what I'm here for. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.